<laughs> All right. So I have been on this stylish personal development journey for quite some time now. Gentlemen, I have been trying to learn more about style, fashion, fitness, personal development and success for quite some time now. And over the years of practicing this and living this lifestyle, I have always noticed this one thing in common. Fashion and fitness are the two essential Fs for magical attraction. I'll repeat, so hear me out clearly. Fashion and fitness are the two essential Fs for magical attraction. Now, if you have been a follower of the channel, if you have been a viewer of Men's Essentials for the last few years, you would obviously know my absolute obsession with style, fitness, fashion and success. And you would also know my absolute obsession about social dynamics. So, in this episode of Men's Essentials, gentlemen, let's break things down and see how fashion and fitness play the most important roles and how you can use it in your own life to your own personality to improve your social scale, to improve your social dynamics, to help you be a better man. My name is Vang Bhattacharya, gentlemen. This is Men's Essentials. Let's roll. Do it. Okay, so in case it wasn't clear, let me tell it to you one more time. Fashion and fitness are the two essential apps for your magical attraction. Therefore, if you are someone with stuck up genetics or even worse, a hopeless life, watch this video carefully as it will change your life quite drastically. You see, your genes and genetics aren't something in your control. I mean, sure, you can be grateful for a set few things here and there, but you're not in control. So, what you can however do, what you can however control is getting the most out of your current state of being, getting the most out of your current genetical being. The height, the hair and the decent bone structure worked in my favor. <laughs> but hey, I do have a crooked nose, I have big elephant ears, I have a screwed up hairline and of course I don't have much facial hair on my face. But I made it work and it's pretty alright as we speak. So learn to work with what you got and make sure you make the most out of it. And the interesting thing is, the way this affects your style and fashion is quite simple. Gentlemen, the way this affects your personality is quite simple. You dress for what you want, where you want to be and you use your style and fashion as a tool to help you reach your destined goal. For example, if you want to be a rich successful entrepreneur or a businessman, you can use style and fashion in your favor to start dressing like so, to start looking like so, to start feeling like so and therefore eventually getting at that place of being a rich successful businessman or an entrepreneur. Your outfits, your style, your image and your personality must always speak the truth. The same concept, the same logic will apply if you are trying to be something else in your life, be it a rock star, a biker or anything else in that manner. But we'll talk more about it in a minute. The thing that I wanted to address a bit more specifically in this topic is a few common grounds. You see, irrespective of the type of character or personality you want to be, there are two style basics I would always want you to keep in mind. You should always know your measurements and you should always be aware of your color palette. Now by measurements, I don't mean your biceps or your chest, but I do mean your chest in some way or the other. So make sure you prioritize them in that exact order. Measurements first, colors second. Now in case you don't know your measurements by now then stop this video and go measure yourself right away. Take a measuring tape and start with measuring your chest. Once you're done with that you'll move on to measure your shoulders, your arms, your waist and everything that there is which you'll need to measure for the right fit all the freaking time. Now Ayush has a 43 inch chest, 42 under 43 inch chest, 38 inch, 39 inch waist and similar shoulders. So it's a whole lot more easier for him to find the right fit of the t-shirt, suit, shirt, whatever it may be when he's out there shopping next. Even for his jeans, trousers and everything that there is. Gentlemen, if you don't know the alteration you would want to your jeans or pants and it'll be a whole lot more difficult for you to get the right fit all the time. Write them, memorize them, save them and use them the next time when you're shopping around. But do make sure that you know your measurements like by heart. Why? Well, because they are of utmost important especially if you want things to fit you right now once done with that we'll move on to the second task at hand which is understanding the color palette or the color signs now there are two key things to keep in mind when you're trying to shortlist the favorite color according to your skin size or your skin type or your skin complexion one you have to understand your own skin's undertone the best way to know it is by seeing your wrist not your forearm but your wrist this is pretty much the undertone that your skin has and the second is your current lifestyle personality. Yes, gentlemen, there are different types of colors suited for your current specific lifestyle and personality. Therefore, I would want you to pick that color very appropriately. Now, for example, if you're someone like me who's into classic men's style, if you're someone like me who's this entrepreneur and this men's lifestyle guy who's a fan of classic men's style, then I will recommend you stick with six 
basic colors. If you are someone with a similar skin complexion, what are these six basic colors? White, black, navy, charcoal gray, four neutral colors, and then we have beige or tan, and then olive green. These six colors are something that you can rotate and keep wearing with 600 different outfits and never look unstylish, never look out of line. Now sure, some of these colors may work a bit better with said given skin tone, but these six basic colors are still very basic and very neutral for most of the Indian skin tone that's out there in the current existing world. But hey, I know I cannot make color coordination so easy, so expect a detailed video on color coordination very soon. In case you haven't watched our previous video on color coordination, Click the index card, watch the detailed video on color coordination, one of the most detailed video on color coordination till date by clicking the index card right here. But now that you have figured out the basics of style and color, let's talk about the style according to your own personality. You see, every individual, be it a man or a woman, has their own distinctive personality and a set specific type of style tailored to it. It could be streetwear like the hip-hop artist or it could be athletes or like pro athletes. It could be the rock star look, it could be the skater or surfer look, it could be a creative designer or photographer look, it could be a forgy inspired military look or things as simple, things as classic as a successful businessman or an entrepreneur look. Or hey, even a mix of all of these 4-5 things. <laughs> Again, in my case, for my reference, I am a mix of entrepreneur, forgy and rock star. So my style is somewhere tailored to that. My style reflects a part of that. I'll wear dark wash jeans, I'll wear suits, I'll wear solid basic t-shirts, I'll wear slim fit t-shirts, I'll wear tailored suits, boots and all of that cool things. Why? Well because that's my personality, that's how I relate to my style and fashion, that's how I like to use style and fashion as a tool in my favor to show my inner self, to show my personality to the outside world without even having the need to speak a single damn word. Now, if you're a rock star or a photographer or someone as genius as Watsil, our creative director, then guess what? His style is going to be a whole lot different than mine. He is going to wear a whole lot more jeans, a whole lot more of sneakers and t-shirts than my suits and chinos. But that's his style. We both look good, we both are well put together and we both convey our personal style to the outside world, our own personality to the outside world without even having the need to use a single damn word but using the style and fashion in our favor to convey it quite effortlessly. Does that make sense? Hope that makes sense. Now, if you are a cool casual college kid who's a singer or who wants to be a rock star, then one, start believing in your goals and go after it and two, start dressing like so. Start dressing like a rock star, start wearing things like a rock star, start carrying your persona and building your vibe as a rock star and use style and fashion in your favor for your own personality. The same concept, the same logic applies to you if you want to be a doctor, engineer or a scientist. Start believing in your goals, go after your goals, but start dressing and appreciating yourself for that particular goal as well. Give yourself a damn uniform, wake up every day and wear that uniform where you can actually start believing in yourself for that longer, broader vision. If you want to be an entrepreneur or scientist, start dressing like so. If you want to be a forgy, start dressing like so. If you want to be a rock star singer, then start dressing like so. Start projecting your image to the outside world like so. And of course, if you want to be an athlete, a bodybuilder or a pro fitness physique icon and whatnot, then you have to start dressing like so. Just because some random guy on the internet tells you to wear suits all the time does not really mean that's your style. That's your own personal escape. But, 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 you know what is actually a part of every man's epic style and personality? Well, none other than the TMB Basics t-shirts or the Mighty Basics, the best v-neck and crew neck t-shirts. Why? Because they are the Super 30s cotton. They are the best fitting, best made and the most amazing t-shirts that you can find for your basic masculine needs. Now see, I get it. I get it that a suit isn't all that necessary for your college life. I know that a monk strap might not be your ideal college shoe, but the basic tees, especially the v-neck and the crew neck that you see around. I think these are the absolute essentials you may have irrespective of your style and personality because these things are going to make you look so much more muscular, so much more handsome, so much more easy. I mean the reason I have made them is because they are an absolute essential in every man's epic style wardrobe. The reason I wear them is because they are an absolute essential of my current style wardrobe. It was just the v-neck at the first launch, now we have the crew neck as well and just check out the fit goddammit. Gentlemen, this is how a good fitting t-shirt can make you look and feel even though you live in a super skinny frame. So in case you haven't checked it out once tmebasics.com, we are out of stock with all the medium and large but we do have some other pieces left till we conclude our second launch. In case you haven't checked it out, give yourself one of these as soon as you can and I cannot wait for you to try them on because trust me, we have the reviews coming in. Trust me, 
everyone absolutely loves this goddamn thing. TeamyBasics.com, TeamyBasics.com got you covered. Check it out, and I would be happy to help you with everything that there is. Anyway. That's where I'll end this video, gentlemen. That's where I'll conclude this video. You see, you learning about your style, your personality, your goals, your ambition is always a work in progress. So take it slow, take it easy, but make sure you enjoy every single bit of it. I hope you like the new setup, gentlemen. I'm bringing back the old vibe because I have been personally missing it a whole bunch. So there we go. We have the grey backdrop, the blue backdrop back at your disposal. New videos coming very soon. Stay tuned for that. Do not forget to check out our Hindi channel in case you haven't. We have been posting daily videos there as well. But yes, don't forget to dress up, stay strong, stay stylish. TeamyBasics.com. Get yourself one of the best possible t-shirts out there in the history of t-shirts ever made. I'll see you in the next one, gentlemen. Dress up, stay strong, stay stylish. My name is Mangra Chara. Thanks a lot for watching. Still count wins when they got it. On record, off record, I let them take advantage. I was wildin'. On record, off record deals. Tell them talk to Colin for the quote. On record, off record, I.